the challenge is, is NVIDIA is doing fantastically well. And if you're a great company, it's great when you do well. It's almost better if your customers also do well, uh, because that creates a sustainability factor that you're going to be able to sell and you have willing buyers that are also doing well from your products. But the problem, and it's something we don't know because there's no two companies that are doing their depreciation schedule the same. So how long do these chips last? And once I put all this money into my data center, how often am I going to have to churn that uh, number of chips in there? And if it's 18 months, well, that's going to be super expensive. If it's every three years or every five years, well, then maybe it's affordable. And if I'm using those chips to build my AI, am I getting the revenue out of the products that I'm producing with that AI to cover the costs of buying all those chips? So one thing that we saw was, yes, NVIDIA's earnings were great, but the stocks of its biggest customers like Microsoft, Amazon, those were going down. So this is, you know, sort of a kind of a back and forth between the leader in the sector that's doing exceptionally well and then the real profit motivation of the companies that are actually buying those chips. 